why Taylor Swift keeps coming up in controversy. She's a nice girl. I would patty her cake. Hell yeah, I would too. What's up, comic freaks? Uh, Spooky here. I actually have my cam on today. Uh, we're going to be talking about different things. Comics, games, TVs, and movies. Uh, this is all right, kind of chat-based anyway. So like, yeah, let us know what you guys think in the chat. Uh, I'm going to bring in my, I guess, co-host for this. Let's get this going. You know, I've tried out skates one time in my life. It ended horribly, and I never put them back on. What? That's it? Just the one time? Yeah, it was a one and done. It was just like, you know what? That sucked. Not doing that again. This is not for me. <laughs> but uh, what's uh, going on, everybody? How you doing, man? Yeah, man. Uh, I know we were normally going to have an auction today, but I think uh, it was an issue with the host and then sellers, and then we got a host, but then no sellers <laughs> to fill in the whole panel. Yeah. So it, it is what it is, but I figured we'd give you guys something just to hang out. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys keep it interested in this show tonight we got a bunch of shit i'm gonna cover and then go over with helvetica helvetica's gonna have all the questions for me so uh, hopefully you guys have those questions too let me bring in our next guest or co-host let's see if he says what's up Oh, Jesus. How about the Knicks? Uh, not a good game last night. <laughs> not great. <laughs> Three and one on the road trip. You're not going to go four and all, but I mean, defending world champs, crazy. Yeah. And we played them four times. The last three games were three and oh. Hell yeah. So <laughs> last night was the end of a road trip. They were all banged up. I mean, it is what it is. Jokic is a freaking animal. It's nothing you can really do, but no more sports talk, I guess. You guys want to talk about sports? Probably not. We could. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let me go through the chat real quick, see who's here. GD Comics always saying what's up. Howdy. Steve Wagner and Reese in the house. In the house. <laughs> that other fucking show. <laughs> uh, the Slab Attic is like, oh, shit. No auctions. I'm out. <laughs> Searching for excellence. Like, what's up? <laughs> Ayo, of course, Maddie Freeze. Liz Barnes. <laughs> Lady Vedic is like, oh, shit. And Cat60, I can sell. What day are you not selling? I'm getting tired of hearing your voice, <laughs> sir. Damn. Uh, <laughs> I love you. I love you. Um, uh, I, I guess I'll just go over my comic shit that I had for a little bit, or at least prepared for today. Um, let me bring this up for you guys. I was actually going over cover prices stuff for this past week. Um, I'm looking at it, and it's I thought spec was dead, but if I'm looking at these like top 20 books for the, this past week, it's mostly all spec books in my belief, right? Like Spider-Man, the first meeting of Miles Morales and Spider-Man is at 13 spec book, right? Because the people are waiting for that to happen in the movies. Secret Wars, right? The black suit coming into the movies also, like another spec oh, book. Yeah. Uh, Iron Fist actually at number 20 is a weird one because I think that's the first lady Iron Fist in that one so like again another spec book i think that's what people are kind of banking on right now is oh netflix will do like the lady version of iron fist i guess i don't know it's super weird and i obviously the new titans is on there as well at number 11. uh let's go over to the as you go over the top 10. i'm laughing because ultimate anything is still in the top five <laughs> or, or even the top 10 right you have ultimate spider-man you have number issue number one at seven number issue number two at number two and then the first number ones of X-Men, Ultimate X-Men and Ultimate Black Panther. So, like, either people are really loving those stories or they're expecting more out of those than they should be. Again, like, I thought, I thought Spec was dead and we kind of killed our little community here for a little bit because people were just going after those hot books. But then, like, right, number five, eight billion genies is on the list again. Like, I thought oh, that was gone all the time. Yeah, dude, like, I've been meaning to read that, too. But I didn't have a chance to even get a reader copy because I was like, get every goddamn copy you can get. And I was like, uh, okay. Uh, I didn't read it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the premise is great, right? Like everyone in the world gets a genie. They get everyone gets one wish, regardless of what they wish for, it's gonna happen. So you could even wish for like someone else to have a not have no wishes, and I guess that would be a thing. <laughs> is it uh yeah, I, I believe uh Christina Aguilera said that best. So yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh god, I need that clip now. <laughs> oh man. 
uh, yeah, but it's just it's strange to see that on the list again. That that to me was a spec book. I mean, that was a spec book I still have in my box somewhere over here. So like, it's interesting to see it back on there. And obviously, New Mutants for Deadpool because of the movie. The funniest one probably is number eight because there's no real reason for it to spike like it did. But I guess people had found out through some article, some other show. I have no idea how people found out, but there's a villain in the New Guardians, which is a DC comic. And it's called the Heme Goblin, and he's a blood vampire that basically gives people HIV AIDS. What? Yeah, that's how he kills everybody. What the Wait, hell? What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, number eight. It's fucking weird. The Heme Goblin, like blood Jesus goblin. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That is a shitty super. So, hey, we got superhumans living amongst us, people. Yeah, so uh, HIV infected vampire that kills people. Kind of like Cat 16, I think that. <laughs> I wish everyone has what? <laughs> 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 I wish everyone's wish. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, like that... these books for whatever reason blew up, like spec or not, but then obviously like number eight is probably the craziest one on that list, I think. Uh number six, I mean like Star Wars High Republic, I think there's like eight first appearances in that book. Again, I I thought spec was gone, but in the pretty much cooled off comics for everybody, but I guess it's still going strong from what I've seen. Well, it's the last week or so. So yeah, I know uh, not everybody's into reading new comics, but I mean, you can see that people are still rushing for those new ones just based off spec. Like, I don't know what else to say about that. It's, it's weird. I thought, I thought we were over that, but I guess it's still here. <laughs> yeah, man. It's just crazy too. I mean, I would assume that these are all, uh, some of these got to be based off of, um, you know, people picking them up for the stories, people hearing that, like, hey, Spider-Man has a midlife, midlife crisis, gets superpowers, and then, yeah. So, And then Maddie, of course, what's reading about? Um, you put words together and they do things, man. It's like you're a wizard. Uh, you also got, uh, I mean, a lot of stuff up here. Like, Nova, I'm, I'm curious what they're actually going to do with him pushing forward. But I'm also curious what they're going to be doing with the MCU going forward. So I see this Deadpool as like they're let's sweep all that under the rug and kind of go in a different direction because it's not working out right. Right. So, I mean, we'll see. Yeah. And even yeah, like no. the ultimate, like the whole ultimate universe that's currently going. I mean, all those stories for the most part have been really good. I've read that first issue of Black Panther. Obviously, I mean, Ultimate Spider-Man was my pool that I had. Uh, I haven't read Ultimate X-Men yet, but people like that one too. So who knows, right? Like. Maybe the stories are that good also that they're not just specking on them, that they're actually enjoying the stories for once again. <laughs> yeah. But I'm yeah. like curious too. Like you guys in the in the chat, you guys are, you know, I'll probably have more time in your hands to actually read stuff. But I don't know, yeah. man. What are you guys checking out right now? I, I have no idea what even like if I were to walk into a comic store right now, uh I mean, I think plenty of us have seen how many uh beeves of buttheads are out there from J1's pull boxes. But I mean, like besides <laughs> that, what are you guys picking up? I'm curious. I think he gave me a free issue of that too, and I think about it. <laughs> yeah, scripted the jaw. Actually, I think those one. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's pretty much what I wanted to go over for those, I guess, books for the past week. I know they update that I think every Monday, but it was interesting that ultimate all the ultimate line books are still on top. So people are really loving those stories. So I know I've enjoyed Ultimate Spider Man. Like, what do we want? Like a thirty-six year old Spider Man becoming Spider Man. So. The kids, the fa right, the family, the wife and kids. So it's been a good read, but yeah, I'll, I'm kind of curious to see where it goes. I know they're introducing uh, Gwen Stacy, I think, in issue four that's coming up. Yeah. So I'll be kind of curious how they do the ultimate version of her on that guy. Uh, yeah, everyone's just saying, what's up, James? Was it James? Can you do me a favor, man? Can you tell me how to pronounce your last name so I don't butcher it live because you deserve um, that much respect and. I just about disrespect Pom everybody Nictor? with my uh Nictor? Pom Nictor. Pom Nictor. Hmm. Pom Nictor? All right. Is that is that I, right? Let us know. If I say it fast enough, maybe people won't realize I'm fucking it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh I can see uh Chaz's cards on the table there. Um for games, I really don't have much of an update. I know Diablo just did a recent update that we were all like checking out this past week. I didn't really notice any like big upgrades to it. Yeah, there's some big news in games if you're interested. Yeah. Uh, Dragon's, Dogma right, gotcha. 2, Dragon's Dogma oh, 2, Dragon's Dogma 2, and Rise of the Ronin oh, both released God. today. Okay. Dragon's Dogma oh, yeah. 2 is, uh, they're both $70, because every game $70 now. I don't know why. I don't know <laughs> what made that happen, but to me, it's really ridiculous. But anyway, 
Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is a game that's not going to hold your hands at all. It's an open world ARPG, action RPG, and it's kind of like Lord of the Rings. But um, the issue is you only have one save file. They won't give oh. you multiple save files. And the microtransactions are completely insane. Like, ridiculous. Like, you have to pay $2 to change your appearance in the game. You only get to do it once. That's like a one-off? You have to pay, oh, Do you have to pay every time you want to change it, or is it... If you want to change your appearance a second time, you have to pay an additional $2. Oh, God. What Wait, the hell? Welcome to gaming game? in 2024. Holy shit. Where everything is a microtransaction, and the games are broken. And also, game in 2024, guess the locked frame rate. Do you want to guess... Is it like, like what fifty? Is it like it's locked at thirty frames per second? I was gonna be like generous and say like forty to fifty. Thirty Holy frames shit. per second in twenty twenty four. That's unbelievable. That I'm sorry, that's on console. Obviously, you can go into PC oh, okay. and make it go up. Like I think, I think the peak was like one twenty. But um, that's weird though, because like low, NPCs appear on the screen seven feet in front of you. It's insane. Like everything is popping. It's just crazy. So that game yeah, came just, out. And then Rise of the Roman though. is a um is a Sony exclusive. And from what I've heard, it looks like a PS3 game. So I mean a horrible day for releases. Yeah. Stick I was gonna say um, like... 30 frames per second. That's that is like PlayStation 3 like level <laughs> like yeah. kind of frame rates. Yeah. And I mean it's it's stuck on 30 frames on a PS5 and Xbox Series X. So, yeah, I mean, the microtransactions, right? They're just squeezing everything. They I can mean, it's, you. You, we can go into a whole thing, which I don't want to go into. Is that just, just, just the downfall sure? of video games. Dude, it's like sucking a golf ball through a garden hose, man. It's eventually going to come out. <laughs> it is kind of ridiculous. I mean, nothing is free to play. When it says free to play, it's not. It's just hidden no. stuff sitting behind a paywall. Um, a lot of games, you are the beta testers now, in my opinion. Games will come out, and then they have to release a patch within a week. Of course, the game's broken. You know, it's not it's not like it used to be. I know I'm an old fart, but I mean, I really don't like the way they do these games now. There's no, no. more excitement anymore. It's not like no. Trust me, I can't the wait only to come home and play Call of Duty like that doesn't happen anymore. I was gonna briefly just talk over like Diablo Four and things like that, but my only like real video game update was basically gonna go kind of cut like touching on this space. Is even okay. kids' games are glitchy as fuck. Like even you would think with like big property ones, <laughs> like uh, the best I could do right now is show you guys this. So this is the Bluey video game. So what my daughter's awesome. my daughter's four, about to be five. She loves this game. It is glitchy as hell. As you can see, the mom and I think the uncle are like floating in the sky in the top left. That should oh, be happening. Oh, okay. I thought that was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see like she was running around the, the backyard of the game and she's like, she just goes, huh? And like starts laughing, and I'm like, "What's going on?" And she's like, "I'm stuck." And I'm like, "What do you mean you're stuck? Like it's a fucking video game." <laughs> Wait. And then sure enough, I grabbed the switch, right? And I'm oh like looking at it. God. I'm like, "What is happening here?" And she was just like walking around in the <laughs> sky, like under the grass, like it was glitchy as hell. And it doesn't take much to do. It all you do is hit pause, go to the character select screen, pick another character, and then go back into the game, and it does this. <laughs> oh, that's something that's completely out of the ordinary. Yeah, like, right, and for her, right, she wants to switch between the characters as she plays, so, like, as she switch from, like, the mom to, like, the, the kid sister and all that, like, the whole game, like, fucking, like, blows up on you, and you basically have to restart the game all over again just to play it. Jesus, how much was that game? Uh, Thankfully, we got, like, a Target gift card, but, like, normally it's, like, 40 bucks or something. Oh, my God, man. Yeah, like, I would not have bought it even without the gift card. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, my God, this thing's total shit. Five but finger she, discount, man. Yeah, she loves and it, like, though. And like Black Spider said and Hot Mustard, like, yeah, they're trying to make money, but there's a certain way you can do it. Like, yeah, we already charge an exorbitant amount with $70 per game. You know it doesn't cost $70 to make that game. Plus, there's no, no physical release anymore. So it's well, a digital file. Like, you're not right. even what, I mean, you're paying for the money it costs to create the game. There's no physical media anymore, so they save on that end, and now they're just releasing it digitally, and the games are a friggin' mess. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, there's no patch or anything coming out for that game. Thank God my my daughter likes it, or else I would have returned it, even though it was technically a free game for us. 
The Advil yeah. bottle? What the fuck do you want, dude? It's Advil. What the f- <laughs> Oh, I thought he was trying to lure you into his room because I he thought makes- he was too. Yeah. Yeah, he's I'm drawing. I'm drawing. He's in the other room looking at shit. Go he's draw. Fucking around. I mean, Maddie, you could put your drawing up here. Oh no, you can't. It's NDA. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, those are the two big releases today, and both of yeah. them flop. I mean, if you go to Steam, uh Dragon's Dog was mostly negative already. And Rise of the Ronin's Rise of Ronin's only on uh, PlayStation, so there you go. He's kill- another another he's day killing me. Maddie's just asking where's RMI in the chat repeatedly. Oh my god. <laughs> But I am currently playing uh, Magic the Gathering, which I'm having a ton of fun with, and Dead by Daylight doing their uh, Blood Moon event. That's about oh, okay. it. I, I don't play anything else. <laughs> yeah. I, sadly, I'm not playing much either. That Bluey video game was probably like the last game I played like a week ago. And when I saw that kind of shit happening in it, I was like, they're not even trying anymore. Even oh, the but kids. there is a big, there's a lot of Diablo <laughs> news, Spooky. You know that. Yeah, they had their uh, the round table. The fuck yeah, that's campfire. Called, that fire shit. Play shit. Fire. Fire the fighter fest or whatever the hell that is. Fire, <laughs> fire <thing>. fest. <laughs> they had a, I don't know what they're talking oh, about. That's my homie right there. Oh, you're playing Tekken 8, huh? <laughs> I've seen people play it. The game looks insane. I just yeah, suck at fighting games. I haven't played Tekken since like Tekken 4 or 5. It's like a gorgeous like game. Like Street Fighter and Tekken are on a different level of visuals. The last Mortal Kombat looked like shit. I'm sorry. Yeah. The one that just came out looks like garbage. Oh shit! And then we even have Black Racing Fighters. Game. Oh, they're <laughs> oh, free. I mean, I guess, yeah. Can't I really mean, hate on free stuff, yeah. If it's free, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm at it. We know that's Hector. Jesus. Yeah, I Matt, mean, sleep, dude. Yeah, that campfire developers thing. I'm hoping that the the changes for even season four, because season four starts like in April, end of April. For didn't Diablo Four, it just launched like recently. They yeah, dude, to it, it didn't next- it didn't end fast enough. Like I can't wait for season four. I just want to need something else. Like we need something different again with that Jesus. stupid game. <laughs> if they haven't gotten bad. it right, but what is this, this is going to be season four coming up, right? Yep. It, how, yeah, how have they not gotten it right yet? I mean, you know what the complaints are? Fucking fix the stupid game, Jesus. Yeah. It, you like, know what's I don't fun? Know. Uh, when I get free time, man, I've actually been. All into like that Baldur's Gate, like that oh, is the yeah. epitome of a game to where like you can do whatever. The- I just kicked the shit out of a squirrel and it exploded. Oh, I, mean, I like, saw him. Yeah, it's amazing. What's up, Emmy? Oh well, that man, game, that game's the epitome, the, the antithesis of what's going on. They put so much work into that game, and they were just privately funded, and that game fucking has no issues at all. Launched insane, won game of the year. Everybody loves it. That's the complete opposite of 98% of what happens in games. Yep. Path of Exile. Anyone play that one? Uh, uh yeah. I Theory, tried, man. but I didn't I didn't have an encyclopedia, so I couldn't play it. So <laughs> <laughs> Path of Exile is like very much like uh you know, you have to basically research and know what you're gonna be doing ahead of time, but it's also very much more uh hands-on you, you have to really know what class you're going to play and how it's it's a science project but that's what a lot of people are into like at the same time as well so i mean it depends pick your poison uh you know well the one I game's mean, the best of both worlds supposedly i played it for like three weeks no four days and then i asked for a refund on steam uh last epoch oh, oh that's right. yeah you're that's talking like about that the path yeah. of Ex- a little bit of path, path of exile's depth with the ease of just getting in and playing of diablo but like uh, I, I couldn't. You couldn't. You couldn't get rid of items until you finish like a level twelve quest. I'm like, what? Like, le- like, like chapter twelve, not like level. I'm like, so I got to keep all this stuff on me. What the hell? Can I, what is this? I'm like, goodbye. Give me a refund. You're just holding. <laughs> yeah, I'm just throwing <laughs> shit all over the place. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I had yeah, me. Em- me's in the league. He says for that. I think Poe. I think Poe oh, like P-O-E. a new. Uh... Poe, the new one's coming out. Is it this year? Yeah, uh, actually, it looks really, really good. If you if you're a big uh, Path of Exile fan, I mean, you're going to be going to static for that. I mean, especially like all like the like the content and everything, like the animations and everything about it, it just looks grueling. I, I dig it. <laughs> I dig it. I I dig it. Can you dig it? <laughs> I'm looking at my favorites on my Steam. I have 
Dead by Daylight. I have Isles of Insight. That's a sleeper right there. The people who made Dead by Daylight have a puzzle game that's like Portal. Oh, hell yeah, okay. no, man. I, I think the best one, what was it? Uh, Cuck Simulator? <laughs> that's deleted. It's not Cuck in my favorite. Cuck Simulator. It's not yeah. in my favorite. Oh, anymore. man. That was like I the have... best content we ever had, though. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I have Lies of P, which I'm on my second playthrough of. <laughs> Um, Magic the Gathering and Vampire Survivors. There it is. Oh, dude. Yeah, Black Spiders, dude. That was so fun. Chaz, Chaz and uh, Maddie played that too, I think. Uh, Shredder's Revenge. Didn't yeah, you just... I have it. We were, we're all going to play it together. together. Madhouse, but no. We, we still, already... Actually, I'm still down for it. I have it. I have it too. I still have oh, it. All right. Next time this happens, we're going to just live stream us playing the game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do why not. Yeah, that's probably what we should have done. Right, let us know in the chat if you guys would be up for that. I mean, like, basically today we're hanging out with you guys because, I mean, it's, it's you know, one of those things, man. Like, uh, on short notice, I normally can't do Fridays. Uh, we didn't have a host for today. And then, you know, things came up. So I was like, all right, well, I'll be able to uh, pop on and shoot the shit with you guys. But, hey, I don't know if you guys would want that kind of content on here just for shits and giggles. Yeah, just let us like know. I, I'd be up for it live live stream i think we did that was uh smash brothers right was it yeah. only smash brothers yeah we did smash brothers on the channel we did uh yeah it's, i thought like there was another game we did. among us among us among us oh yeah right. Chaz, you were pretty Chaz sus during that yeah i don't there. like that game at all so that's, <laughs> I'm gonna play again. i don't understand it it's so stupid it makes no sense it was <laughs> honestly us just trolling the entire time and every time even though jazz was at the bad guy we're like jazz pretty fucking sus bro like what yeah. the fuck all right guys what you want that game. i'm fine get ejected <laughs> in the face like every day, round. Like, i'll play survivor that's what we need to do uh I'll be a survivor. I don't have to be a killer. Oh, man. All right. We'll, we'll think you guys about can something. learn how to be killers. <laughs> With no pressure, because I think you're scared to play killer. Too much pressure. I don't I know. I believe man. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you serious? Like, are you guys scared of playing a killer in Dead by Daylight? A lot of people like, oh, I get like performance anxiety. Like, what? No. Who cares? No, that don't bother me. Especially like with games. Like I mean, I like playing the harder roles, like tank roles and stuff like oh, that. That's the hardest it gets when you get four sweats and they're all talking. It's very hard. Yeah, Black Spider would would be interested in some kind of Street Fighter. Hey, fighter you want to come in here and kick my ass? You have fun. I don't know how to do shit <laughs> in that game. You know what would be cool is if we got like the whole Madhouse com uh, community and found out who like plays and everything and ran some kind of like a bragging rights tournament just to play with everybody. Just find out yeah. some kind of way to do that. Uh, it's easy. You could do Tekken has huge tournaments. You, you do live ones in there too. But I don't think we all have Tekken. Yeah, it would have to be so yeah. that we all could like play and you know what I mean. We'd have to lobby for it. We have we like the yeah, yeah. The YouTube, yeah. Uh, the YouTube has a community tab where we could talk about it and everything. On yeah, there and, like, or even like post something maybe like on the Facebook or Instagram. Like what kind of games you guys playing? Yeah, I'm yeah. all about it, man. You know, I talk my <laughs> ass off and. That's why, like, I'm, I'm, I'm co-host today because, like, god damn, I get some messages. You know, you guys might think that Madhouse has messages like, hey, man, uh, what's going on with this or with that book? It's Helvetica never shuts the fuck up. Uh, Helvetica, when do you stop talking? Um, Helvetica, I have my baby. And it's like, I don't know. It's all over the place. And have my baby actually came from Maddie, by the way. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let's just move on to something else. <laughs> I'm just trying to put fucking inserts away. Parallels. All right. I guess with that being the case, like I could bring up the next topic here. Let's see if I can share it. X Men '97 aired this past weekend, or I guess past week. Uh, did you guys watch it at all, or no? No, I was watching something else. Dude, yeah. I told Lady V like, "Hey, let's check out X Men." She's like, "Are you 12?" And I'm like, "I'm a grown yeah. ass man, and I do what I want." <laughs> As I said, cosplaying as the beast. So I mean, <laughs> it actually, so it really does hold up. Like I, it does hit you with the nostalgia of that intro. Like obviously, mm -hmm. it's been modernized, but like it's pretty much the same intro. Like obviously, they added Bishop to the team. Actually, I oh think I fucking throw. in! Does he have his bullet or did he cut his hair? He cut his hair, Fuck. or they cut his hair. Watch. Uh, oh, there's God a damn it, man! What is wrong with these people? Yeah. I don't know. I'm maybe they're just like cool the artwork. Maybe looks... maybe part of his character arc is that he grows it back over the course of the ten episodes. That the is not a lie. <laughs> the she only real question is it better I than told... He Man when that relaunched or whatever the fuck that was. 
Yeah. That was brutal. Oh, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> he I was, was playing ball in his game. I was waiting it. for you to sit there and be like, hey, you ready to... W-? Like, no, nope, you were just watching Jersey Shore or something. <laughs> Well, even, like, they gave Storm her mohawk, which is my favorite look on her. But even, like, Morph, right? They went back to, like, his, like, comic book version. Yeah, actually, like, the, I didn't like the Morph that actually had, like, that. I mean, it was cool in the show and everything, but I think yeah. that they're actually giving them some, uh, even, too, I've seen some, like, stills of, like, Magneto when you jump into that. It's yeah. going to be turning into, like, the actual comic accurate, like, where it left off. So, I mean, yeah. I'm interested to see that. And a lot of people are complaining, like, what did they do to Magneto? Like, you obviously never fucking read the well, comics, yeah. man. So well, I, mean, I dig it. Yeah, I think it's kind of. Um, I know some people I've seen were like, "Oh, like they didn't care for the X Men cartoon," but I think it's because they were a little bit older. Like I was a kid watching this. Like was like every Saturday morning was on, right? Yeah. Uh, so like, right? Like I was already kind of reading X Men comics at that point. So like, and it was like you know it wasn't I guess like a total like cop copy you know page for page copy of the storylines but at least like it reintroduced you to those in fact i would even argue it did dark phoenix saga way better than any of the movies did <laughs> yeah because that shit pissed me off watching those movies and then i was like the cartoon held up better on their take on it than any of those did right yeah, like, it didn't mess up with um jubilee's hair too that looks weird um uh, yeah i, think I don't it's know. face the way that they drew it though but i think they're trying <laughs> to uh I don't know, man. It, smell, it looks like she's just someone shit themselves and she got a right. riff of it. So, I mean, yeah, so I guess if anyone's jumping into it, I guess like a non-spoiler is obviously Professor X isn't around if you were watching the original, Yeah, I guess, version. Um, yeah, obviously he's still pieced out, as Maddie would say, <laughs> going into this. What's uh, up, Z-Step? Old... Tetra, yeah. how you doing, man? Yeah. What's up? Uh, it's just funny, though, because like two episodes in, there's been a surprise character at the end of both episodes that have aired so far that's been oh. introduced and that's my only I like, guess spoiler I won't say who they were but it's been interesting how they've been like bringing everybody together and I'm already kind of curious because for the people they're bringing in I'm like okay so they might be doing that storyline that storyline or that storyline like all right cool like we'll see where they go with it is pretty much my my take on it yeah so, honestly <laughs> no, but... it looks interesting and uh yeah dude actually was that i don't remember when i was little was it just that one they made the meme out of that one scene where she all, had all the booty or was it uh <laughs> was it throughout the cartoon i don't remember i think it was throughout the cartoon i don't know i have to go back and rewatch all those i guess <laughs> you know i think maddie would know yeah maddie let us know are these the og booties or not <laughs> he's busy drawing now he can't be bothered yeah hey you know Chaz? you should take the effort you know how many times You've been bombarded by Maddie. It should be the opposite now. You should go in there and just give him a friendly drop kick. I'm not gonna you know fuck I mean? with him when he's drawing. If he's doing something else, I'll piss on him or something. No, just wait till he's in the wait till he's in the hallway. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, should be like surprise. <laughs> Make sure like the hallway light is off that way he doesn't know it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> she had it the whole time. Okay. See, I don't. Yeah. I don't remember because I remember what like. I vaguely remember my childhood. I remember watching this like crazy. And then for whatever reason, I always, when I would try to tune back into X-Men, it would always be during the Savage Lands, like with Sauron <laughs> and everything. And I'm like, okay, didn't we, did I just watch this like a month ago? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong as a kid, but I did, I was doing something wrong. Yeah. Um, I mean, Black Spider touched on it, right? It was just a fun watch. I think, yeah, even if you weren't into the comics, I think it was easily like digestible if you weren't into comic books, even for X-Men. Like, yeah. Told the good, like the full stories, like full runs. Like I said, Phoenix run was in there, um, right? Like I forgot, Night of the Sentinels kind of touched upon, like uh, what's his face, Striker, and all them. Although he wasn't a, a military scientist or whatever, right? He was like a preacher in the books, but like, right? They had like their own take on it, but it still introduced the same characters and same themes and all that. So I'm happy with it. Two episodes in, uh, it's like a weekly thing, so I have to wait like for a few more days for the third episode to drop, and then it will be weekly from there so it's going to be a slow rollout <laughs> which obviously for today right like we want everything right away so i can't binge it i have to like wait every week for a new episode i think there's 10 episodes total they were saying for this season so yeah i'm looking forward to it. it's it been good so far um we got i think most of the original voice actors back too and like i said the music's there like i'm in i'm sold on it already hell yeah 
Dude, I'm gonna have to check that out tonight, man. Honestly, uh, hit me right in the nostalgia, man. I'm yeah. Whole fistful of it. <laughs> All right. Any other shows you guys are checking out? I know we talked about one in the back, but we're probably not going to mention it here. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been rewatching Hell's Kitchen. Oh, okay. Kitchen nightmares. Kitchen nightmares. Oh, Kitchen nightmares. I know they had a new season of that too recently too. Dude, I watched the day. first two episodes of it of the new seasons. Fucking yeah. trash. Like, there's no. <laughs> it doesn't have the oomph of the old one, so he's very passive in it. It's like, oh, oh, okay. Can you help not right yelling. away. Like, no, no. This he place cut is back on his yelling, probably for his health. Yeah, like the renovations way too fast. Like it, it, the old ones are better. He's making people cry and shit. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah, know which I get one it. I wouldn't mind if they revamped also like this. I want to see the Spider Man animated series revamped because I thought that oh, was yeah. so goddamn good, man. I don't I know if they have that one too. Did they bring yeah. that up at all, or do you think that's even possibly in the works? How I don't know. Like, well, I think exactly. it's in the just intro. Seeing... It's the first, yeah, scene yeah. yeah. That, I guess we'll just see they... how, yeah. I don't, I think I don't know who has the rights to it with Spider Man, right? That's the issue. With anything spider-man and i'm laughing because i already know i'm gonna be talking about something related to spider-man later on the uh, movie review part jesus christ uh <laughs> but, but like right like i don't know like does sony own the animated series too or do they just own like all right like yeah i have no idea like it would be cool but again i don't know who owns it it'd be nice if marvel could remake it but i feel like sony won't let that shit slide at all three oh, body problems good oh korean sci-fi I'll, I'm yeah, definitely into those type of movies. Is it yeah, body bum? Like I'm already writing down notes. I'm like I gotta. I knew the Can't chat tell. would be a little bit active. Yeah, I'm like they're missing out on some good shit probably. All right, oh, cool. yeah, man. I'll check that out. Korean sci-fi too. Oh, thanks. For I like up there. Korean horror movies. So sci-fi. I want to see how they do that. Yeah. Any recommendations for any of that stuff? I'm I'm down for all that. Um, I guess you guys want to swing into movies because holy shit. I watched that movie this past week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> where do I even begin with this? Have you guys seen this movie at all? Nope. Madam I, uh, I, I, don't know I watched you put Morbius, up. and I actually enjoyed that one a little bit. For I guess I enjoyed Morbius as much as I enjoyed the Venom movies. Like they're not the greatest, but at least like they're just fun to watch. This yeah. thing was not fun to watch at all. <laughs> I mean depends on the way it's used <laughs> uh, Wait, what? What? Yeah. I don't even know I'm lost but uh no nah, Madam Web I don't know like I'm wondering if they just did it just to snatch the IP I have not even watched this or maybe people want to just watch uh, Sydney Sweeney's I, I don't know Sydney Sweeney's yeah I, I... I'll just go through like these little photos I have from it. So this image I took as I was watching it. This is this only happens in the last ten seconds of the movie. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, they they are never powered fully. None of them, all four of them. Like it's basically about Madam Web getting her powers. Obviously, the whole movie, but none of them are like bit by a spider or anything. Spoiler alert! Like they literally just go like, "Oh, this is what happens in the future." End credits. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. And I'm laughing too because Madam Webb looks like shit. Like, she looked like Bret Hart with those sunglasses. And like, that's all <laughs> I could think about. <laughs> the pro wrestler from like the late 80s. Oh the my 90s. God. With the shades. I was like, oh my God. They got fucking Bret Hart to be Madam Webb. Like, that's God, all I could think about as soon as that movie ended. And maybe Did that's. Did put them on a bystander like he used to before his <laughs> matches? <laughs> yeah. Like, I think maybe this is my only takeaway, like positive takeaway from the movie was this. Because <laughs> I was like, oh shit, she's got Bret Hart sunglasses. And that was about it. <laughs> yeah, man. I just. Like, oh. it's one of those movies, right, that you hear is bad. And I was like, I'm going to watch it. And everyone tells me it's terrible. But like, I just have to just see it and just be like, you know what? I saw it. It's total dog shit. So. <laughs> I think I might have been already drinking at that point, too. So I think that's also why I was more game for it. So, yeah, it's fucking brutal. Is <laughs> it their biggest keep... flop? It's not their biggest flop, right? Yeah, it might be. Like, I, they're, if they're, like, re, like kind of questioning where they want to go next after this, it might be. I know Craven the Hunter is coming out at the end of this year, right, still? 
I have no clue what they're doing. I don't know. Yeah, I just find it funny because Sony makes it and then Disney has to write like basically air it on their channel and shit on Disney Jesus, Plus. <laughs> they need to just take a break for like a year and just reset. They really do. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. Yeah. But I mean I to me that that deal with Spider Man cracks me up because like regardless of how shitty they make the Spider Man movies, Disney's still affiliated with them, so they have to air it on Disney Plus. <laughs> Well, think how much money they're going to make. I don't know if everybody's aware. They're relaunching all the Spider-Man films separated by a week apiece. I think it starts next month. And they're going in order. So, like, the Tobey Maguire 1, 2, 3. Then the uh, Gold... What's his name? Um, The Andrew Garfield. Then his... What did he do? Two or three? How many did he do? Two? Yeah, two. So then his two and then the last three. Like, separated by a week. And then they're doing the same thing with Star Wars. What the? F- Why are you gonna re-release all this shit? Stop. <laughs> That's just what it's they so do. Oh, it's like that, like pre-summertime, like right, like spring cash in. I guess <laughs> everybody's I mean, would you go, everybody's like, just people, cashing in. <laughs> like, would you go see these in the theater? Like, no. I saw practically every one of them in the theater. Why would I do it again? Yeah. I think that's the issue, right? Like, I remember seeing all those in theater also. So, like, why would yeah. I go again? Yeah, yeah, I have no it, idea. It makes no sense. Like Star Wars too. Like, oh, I mean, do you want to go see the new Star Wars in the theater? Probably not. Yeah, I'm gonna add this because. Uh, oh, okay. I, now I see where you're going with this one. Um, yeah. yeah. How, you want to talk about this? Do you? <laughs> is anybody aware of this film? No. Wait. You don't know about the spooky? In a violent nature. It sounds familiar, but I don't know why. Go okay, so just... the buzz, the buzz yeah. with this, it's an indie horror. I mean, I always say horror like that. I'm from Jersey. I'm not changing the way I speak. Wow. <laughs> um, the thing that that's the hook with this, they're saying it's the most disturbing, goriest. We've heard this all before. The hook with this is the whole movie is from his perspective. Oh, from the killer's perspective. Yes, and he's like a Jason. So like a little, there's a trailer which I'm not going to show here. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> you see him get a kill like it, it's very low budget but i just like the idea of seeing one of these movies done from the killer's perspective okay. it, it should be interesting is it going to be good i have no idea i go into all these films with super low expectations but at least someone's trying something new that's all, all i right. care about and it's not the same old shit we've seen a thousand times yeah right like I, the only i guess pov of the killer that i really remember is like I guess the first Halloween, right? Because you're kind of like Michael Myers, and even like the kid in part four. Well, in the first, the very first, but like scene, it's like it's only like moment, movie, yeah. It's, it's only moment, yeah. yeah. But yeah, but it'd be and, and that see, like, started a whole movie. thing. Like people, you know, people read into it like, oh, they wouldn't have first person shooting games if it wasn't for that scene. Like, give me a break, dude, stop. <laughs> but like, it was cool. Yeah, I think that might be the first first person. <laughs> That I've seen in like a horror film, but this is weird. Like I've seen some. You you can watch the trailer yourself. Yeah. And you see how they film it. It's kind of like a third person. You're not looking through his eyes. It's third oh, okay. person. You're playing Dead Space. Like you're in the room. With that. Yeah, it's kind of that perspective. Like you see his whole body. You know. Oh okay. Like it looks cool. Shoulder. I mean, we got some decent friggin' horror films coming out. Like honestly, but they there is a niche that I don't know if you're aware of. There's got to be four spider films coming out this year. What is this? What are we doing? <laughs> Why are there so many spider films? Oh, yeah, like the, like the creature spider for everybody who's like kind of wondering. Yeah. Not like Spider Man. <laughs> there's stung. There's infested. There's the something else. That. I forgot what it's called. Like Spider Spider Boy. It's like an indie Spider Man. I don't know what they're doing. Boy. I don't know. What they're like they're all like trying to do like arachnophobia like all over again. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to capture that again. I mean, you can get the jump scares with any spider flying at a screen, but. I mean, to do it a thousand times, you're going to kind of lose the whole scare effect. All right, now you just gave me an idea. I'm going to watch all four of these Spider movies, and then I'll rank them for you. <laughs> I'll watch them, too. I know they're going to be right. trash. I think... I just want to see which one will be the winner of all of them. Um, I think... Is it Stung? It might be called Stung. I think that's going to be the one. Yeah, I, I saw the trailer for that one, too. It's like the, the pet spider that, like, overgrows or something. Yeah, she feeds it something, like, whistles in, like, hallways and shit. It's, it, oh, like, that's right. Yeah, it talks and shit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> that's ridiculous uh, shit. Oh, and they're doing this. Yeah. I showed, I in our Discord, I was discussing this. They're doing a Pooh-verse? Yeah. 
what mm-hmm. is happening? We're doing like Winnie the Pooh and all horror versions. Yeah. So like Winnie the Pooh, like Snow White and like the Seven Dwarfs, but they're all murderers and like they're having a, a like mm-hmm. an MCU of murdering Disney characters. What right. <laughs> I yeah I I I don't know. I feel like everybody's going to be trying to do that. I know like um like right like after Marvel did their whole multiverse or team ups like. I know, like, uh, they tried doing, like, with the mummy and, like, Frankenstein and Dracula, like, right? Like, the universal monster, like, shared universe. And obviously that fell right on its ass. But, like... After yeah, one I'm... film, right? One movie. That's <laughs> yeah, for, like, that was one, it. the mummy or whatever, right? But, like, yeah, I'm not surprised that other, like, IPs are like, oh, yeah, we got to, like, put everybody together. <laughs> the ultimate team up. <laughs> they ate Eeyore? Oh, man, I got to watch that. Yeah, now I'm kind of interested now that you wrote that. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to start putting it down, but now I'm curious. Nah, I'm, I might check that out that tonight thing. after I finish my series. All right. Pooh shared universe. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Like, wh- wh- who? The- I mean, it's kind of like. I-, I think the only thing, in my opinion, that can be like a new CU, if you want to call it like a new cinematic universe, if it's done right, is Nintendo. If it's done right. Yeah. Because Mario was friggin' an enormous hit. They already said they're making a sequel, so if you go into that and make that kind of like an like an MCU, you can actually make a ton of money if you do it right. Yeah, I, I yeah I think so too. I, like that first Mario movie was surprisingly good. I mean, obviously not not the quality of the live action, but yeah, it was really good. To make a oh, you're not serious right now, right? No, <laughs> the live action was one of the worst movies ever I made. Know. Holy Hold on, wait, I, I got really upset when people like, you know what? The story's lacking. Dude, it's a freaking Italian plumber <laughs> who eats mushrooms and steps on Koopas. Like, what, are we talking, what kind of complex story do you want? Yeah. This is, it was, co- this is, it was this, colorful. This is parasite, dude. It's a freaking cartoon, like a video I game. I think we uh, mentioned that at, at the last auction that um, I really want to see an X-Men spinoff where they uh, have an initiate of uh, New Mutants and Roseanne Barr shows up. <laughs> <laughs> She's the new mutant. Uh, I'd, I'd watch that. What would be? What would her mutant name be? <laughs> the Blob. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> already taken. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. The blob. Got it. What the hell was it that? Uh, it would be. Uh, what the hell was she taking? That's what she'd be named after when she went on her rant. But anyways. I thought that shit was hilarious. That whole fucking <laughs> meltdown and everything. But uh, you want real life horror that leads into folklore horror? Watch Reservation Dogs. Holy shit. William Knifeman. Yeah, man. I love Reservation Dogs. That shit's amazing. Episode oh, the beach three. song. Now it's already in my head, Black Spiders. Jesus, dude. Peaches, peaches, peaches. Yeah. Dogs. I haven't watched all of it, but I'm definitely going to skip to that episode now. Season but, I mean, three, if you just think about it, if you put Metroid in, got it. you got Zelda. You could do thanks something. For, with, thanks for path. That's something to watch for me. <laughs> you could do something with a Mario Kart spinoff. Mm-hmm. You could do definitely do a movie of just Luigi's Mansion if you wanted to. Yeah, I, mean, I think the their most lacking IP, which I don't know why they haven't made another game since the Wii, is Punch Out. How have you only you haven't made a Punch Out since Wii? What are you doing? <laughs> like they're great. Like it's such a good IP, and you just threw it out. Like oh, we're not gonna do it anymore. I don't get it. There's oh. never been a bad punch out game ever. No, I mean I could even watch like even if it's kind of like ripped off of Rocky a little bit, like right, like a version of that is like a punch out yeah, movie. Yeah, of course, dude. We, right? People watch Creed and that sucks. So. <laughs> the first I mean, one was okay. I learned the, the first one. Yeah, yeah, the other yeah, the two. The first one was good. The second one, you hate him. Why would you? Was it the second one with Drago? Yeah, and then the third yeah, one. Why uh, would you root for Pain, him? Who also fights women, apparently. Yeah. Well. <laughs> That's besides the point. But in the movie, you're not rooting. You're not rooting for Apollo's son. You're rooting for Drago's son. Yeah. Like Apollo's son's a douchebag in that movie. Like this, this is dumb. Like. I don't know. By the way, you're not not more yeah, that, that one looks like Rocky Five with fucking Tommy Gunn. Like, what are you doing? Tommy you're just Gunn. remaking all the Rocky movies. <laughs> oh shit! So, I guess speaking of fighting movies, I know I got to watch this earlier today. <laughs> oh, rate it from a scale of one to ten. Now, wait, you got to do it without comparing it to the original. Just as a movie right. on its own. On its own, it's actually pretty entertaining. 
I, I'll, I'll, I'll say that because I, I obviously don't want to spoil it because I don't think Helvetica saw it for sure. And I don't think Chaz saw it either. But like, I uh, see, yeah. yeah, I guess I, what do you guys remember of the 80s version, right? It's like a little bit campy, right? Like everything. It, it's Roadhouse. I'm going to throw this out there is the best movie to sit there when it's like a rainy day. You got the flu. Something's going on where it's, I just don't feel like getting out of bed. Put on Roadhouse. Maddie, just so you know, it's a 10. Are we really reading Connor's ass? <laughs> it just happened. <laughs> yeah, I actually was really impressed by this. Like, again, it's not going to be like the original. And I think if, as long as you really drive that home into your like head, that like it's not going to probably beat the original. It actually does okay on its own. Like, it's got some Connor's like over the top, of course. Like, he normally is, right? Because he's always like in character, <laughs> just as a person. But in this one, he's just like, he's smiling all the time. Like, he's like almost giddy throughout the whole movie. And it's just like weird to see him like that. Because like, he's talking shit, but then he's like laughing at you like throughout the whole movie. So yeah, I I actually enjoyed it. Uh, they obviously did some like UFC cut-ins. Like, uh, what UFC was it that they actually did film live at for that one? Oh, Do you I'm remember, not Chaz? sure. I'm not sure. Maddie would be the perfect one to know about. It this. was a while. It was a couple UFCs, I think. It might have been like a fight night or some shit. Yeah, so something like that. They right? just like brought him, like, hey, come on, like we have we have a crowd here, just come on out, and then we'll like yeah, they made him do weigh-ins, and, yeah, yeah, do weigh-ins and all that. So all that's in the movie. So I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. They kind of made it. Is fight milk in the movie more... or no? No fight milk. <laughs> I think that was one of the sponsors on his shorts, actually. That nice. <laughs> no, we just want the original. This one's actually okay. I, I wanted to hate on this one so bad. I was like, Jake Gyllenhaal, what the fuck? But now that I've seen it, I'm actually like kind of wondering, because I know Gyllenhaal is working on some comic book properties, right? Still, like potentially. So like I'd be curious to see what he does on those projects also after oh, seeing really? this one. So yeah, because I mean, that out, man. Yeah, I mean, it's worth checking out. I mean, like you just like really just want to like sit down and just watch like a crazy action movie for like an hour and a half. Like I'd watch this one for sure. And that's it's probably better than Fast and Furious, so sign me up. <laughs> yeah, not not as much CGI in this as as those movies for sure. Well, that's a UFC 285. 285. Oh my god, he actually knew what fucking number too. He typed Maddie. <laughs> he didn't know that. Maddie, copy shit down over there, man. It's UFC. Uh, actually, he might be close actually because isn't 300 coming up soon? <laughs> yeah, and it's an abomination, dude. The main event is so bad. <laughs> After I saw the movie, I wanted to start a fight. I think like uh, I started a fight at a Texas Roadhouse after watching some the original. <laughs> like Matt always says, low key, Jake Gyllenhaal is a very good actor. Like, I, I think know he's everything. Done... <laughs> he's done a lot of movies that I like a lot. Like I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, he's not a bad actor at all. That's why like seeing him in this, I was like, okay, like he's fucking bringing. It. He's like uh, I don't know. Like I think the way they choreograph like the fights in this was pretty interesting too like they're kind of like brawling basically that's the whole thing like yeah like they're supposed to be trained like mar mixed martial artists but like like there's a good amount of brawling in it where like they're just picking up shit and just smashing each other with it <laughs> i think that's the like uh what would you call that the charm in any kind of like movie like that sometimes we do just need like a senseless like i'm just yeah the piss out of somebody and that's totally okay like, yeah, it's like I'll hit him with a boat, then like instead of putting him in a sleeper hold or something. <laughs> yeah, like I just some like I've been waiting for like another like this might be that movie I've been looking for where like uh, I just want to see someone like just beat the living piss out of each other. Just to... oh yeah, there's definitely a lot of that in the movie. Yeah, that works <laughs> like for me. Said, I'm in. Yeah, as long as you're not comparing it to the OG, because nothing will beat the OG. Like you'll enjoy yeah. this one. Like I yeah, I think it's a solid movie. I don't know out of ten what I would give it. I guess what would be a solid like solid number like seven? I mean, are you eight? rating it as an overall film or just for what it is? For what it is, I guess. Oh yeah, that like you can't an overall film. It's gotta be like a fucking two, but like yeah, for what it is, for like it, enjoyment. I never saw it, I'd say I'm it's a solid. As an action movie that has cool scenes watch. that you would rewatch, interesting characters, and like you're just entertained <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. I'll go by that. Yeah. Okay. Going off that, I'd say it's like seven, eight. Wow, in there. Okay. I think it's solid. Yeah. It what's, the what's John movie Wick ever? 4 then? What's John Wick 4? Oh, shit. I don't know. Like, that one's a totally different, like. <laughs> I don't know. It's just an, it's an action movie. That's why I. Yeah. 
it, nah, this one's different because it's, it's like a, it's got that like '80s vibe. If that kind of makes sense to it. Oh, well, it's okay. The original. <laughs> That's all oh. I need. Where it's kind of yeah. campy. Where it's kind of campy, also. Like the yeah, jokes I'll are think, very I'll like. That. I love that shit. So. Yeah. Did Did you, by the way, have a topic on what Black Spiders just put in the chat? Uh, we could talk about it. Yeah, I'm. I'm I'll definitely. I'll find a picture. I'll find a picture real quick. Yeah, let me take this down. <laughs> I'll just yeah, I'll find a anymore. picture. Maddie can stop drooling for a sec. All right, there we go. <laughs> By the way, if you have not seen Jake Gyllenhaal and Nightcrawler, check it out. It's probably his best actor. Yeah, he was. Oh yeah, he was creepy in that one. He was really good. <laughs> that fucking movie's excellent, dude. Yeah, I wasn't even sure whether we were gonna end that one, but yeah, that one's a solid mm, one too. Really it was good. like the. I, just, I forget how he like. I guess spoiler. I forget how he I even becomes a photographer, but like. The way he like works through like the Hollywood scene and all that too, I was like, "Holy shit!" This is probably like how it actually is. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to like say stuff without giving stuff away. Yeah, I mean, like, all I right. think it's like also like that whole movie just has like that natural like you get disturbed from watching it just the way like the yeah. filming and everything is in it too. You know? He makes so things it's... so uncomfortable in it. He's, he yeah. makes the movie so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh. What yeah, he was a tough call. What can we say about this? Alpha was a good one too. Um, you're talking to someone who absolutely adores the original. If you watch our tier list on this channel, we had it <laughs> as number one. Was it number one or number two? As a non MCU comic book film, was it one or two? Did it beat Blade? I think it beat Blade. I think it's number I, one. I feel like I feel like knowing us, we put Blade at number one and this at number no, two. No, I would never put Blade over this. No, I sorry. know, but like if you think like I'm thinking back, right? Like you probably got mm. overruled by me and Maddie. <laughs> Why you guys think Blade's better than the original? I crow? enjoy Blade more than the Crow. Not me. Um, but yeah. So for me, the trailer. I mean, if if anyone hasn't seen the trailer, the reboot, I suggest you check it out. I'm calling it a reboot. They want to call it the Crow. It's not. It's a reboot. Um, the violence is definitely there, if not more than I've seen in the original. Um, the tone is completely different, and that's fine. You want you can't keep the same tone. It's rated R, right? Like this one was. No, but it's not MCU. Black Spider is what we did. Like it's not part of the MCU. Like Blade is yeah. a Marvel movie, obviously, but it's so. I mean, it's not a. It wasn't part of the MCU. It was was, like, was it like a Sony anything. title? Yeah, it was Sony. Um, yeah, I think they if they would have left with the long hair and the white makeup, I know I'm asking for a lot. I think it would have looked a lot better, and people would have been less offended. Yeah, um, um, he's like a he's like a mashup, right, of different versions of the crow, right, from the book. I mean, from... he's kind of like the the crow you see in the original comic, which I get. Yeah, but just the way he comes across in the trailer, he doesn't seem like he's gonna be like. He's just going to be like a victim the whole time. He's just going to be out for vengeance. It's not going to be like... You're expecting you watch... this, right? You're not getting that. <laughs> you're not, you're not getting that. Where, where did you even find that? Because <laughs> that's I, what everybody I, wants. I did it real quick. Oh, but, shit. No, was, no, I did <laughs> Oh, shit. <You're> good. <laughs> I mean, it would have been way better. I mean, honestly, like, how is that not better than what we're getting? But, yeah. I mean, I'll give it a shot. I'm going in with low expectations. I'm not going to see it in the theater. No fucking way they're getting my money. Um, I, I think the biggest the miss is just the trailer. I don't know how it's going to be in the film. The music's a miss. Hold you on, can. look. At, mm -hmm. I actually found a still where he does look like he is pretty pale. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, like right there, I think if I were to take a wild crack at it, just the way that this is kind of shaping up to look, uh, I honestly think it's going to be like an evolution throughout the movie. So we're like, I mean, take a look at that. He's looking pretty pale on that right side. So just saying. I mean, that looks doesn't look too bad to me. I mean, oh, okay. I don't think they wanted to overdo it. You know what I mean? Like, but at the same time, making it a little bit more realistic. Because realistically, I mean, Draven's supposed to be, you know, back from the dead, vengeance incarnate. So, I mean, like, yeah. it makes sense of, like, not overdoing it. Like, making him look more like, in the first one, I feel like the movie kind of characterized him more as, like, you know, like, uh, what would you call that? Like, Dude, the masquerade was, like, he was of... avenging Angel in the original. Like, yeah, he but was, he like, also... Yeah. Yeah, but if you watch the movie, he even gets that mask like from like Mardi Gras or whatever, and then like he like bases yeah. his like off of that, and it's like it's totally like a different feel and a vibe, and I think that in here this is more like full on. I'm just gonna bust a cap to someone's ass because I don't care anymore, and I actually dig that that it's gonna be uh, 
it's a Vi- you know what i'm gonna yeah. say it i'm gonna say it as cliche not cliche but as it's a fucking <laughs> love story man it's like hey yeah, man you, you know what out- it's gonna- go ahead go ahead but you take out my chick like i'm sorry dude like i'm gonna shoot you <laughs> i'm gonna shoot you in the face baby the kneecap I, yeah, I don't fuck with lady v. yeah man i <laughs> yeah don't do that because i you don't have to worry about me you don't have to worry about her she's scary <laughs> My thing with it is that you're not going to get... I understand the vengeance shit, and that's always been the coolest part of The Crow, but I think the thing that's going to separate the original from this one are two things. The music is going to suck. Because if they didn't go with like a grunge type or it's some type of metal, it sounds like it's fucking hip-hop and rap shit. I don't know. It doesn't fit The <laughs> Crow at all, the music. It seems shitty to me. Well, but it's like, just like a modern take, right? It's yeah, but you still, there's modern bands who play music similar to that. Like You can do that. It's not hard. But um, the, he also had those moments. Remember when he got that one girl who was like a heroin addict and he yeah. grabbed her arm and he made the heroin come out of her arm? He was sympathetic too and he was helping people. I don't I mean, think you're going to get that in this. He's just going to be John Wick. That's what you're going to get. I don't you're gonna know. Get John Wick. There's a part, like, yeah. if they do it right, you think about it. Like, I mean, The Crow's always been kind of like a story about like somebody who's, like I said, Vengeance Incarnate. I mean, like, what lengths would you go to like you know they take something near and dear away from you like what does that turn you into but i also think it's a symbolism for like uh you know the yin and the yang the dark and the light if you sit there and you look at the crow i mean it's just like you said like there is the good in him with like you know the drug addict and everything but uh even too like outside of the pawn shop and all that stuff you know what i mean like Mm. uh eric draven was pure at heart but he also had uh demons within himself I, i think it's just you know before I get all artsy fartsy with it, it's just what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. is, I think there's a lot of potential for like character growth here, and I think it's gonna be has potential to do right instead of looking at the character design. I think this is something that you just dive into it head first and be like, all right, let's kind of like we did with Roadhouse, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, hey, all right, so I guess the real question is, is this gonna be better than the sequels that came after that first movie? <laughs> yeah, I've Holy never seen crap. them. So. Yeah, don't, oh, don't do it. It can't be any worse. Shit. Yeah, the sequels. Who's in the se- second one? Uh, I don't it, was, one is, it was it was Ed, Edward, Edward no Edward Furlong was the third yes. one. Yes. <laughs> That's the third one. I was like, what the, the third hell? crow movie is Edward Furlong as the crow. Who the hell was the second guy? Someone look it up. Yeah. I mean yeah, I the fact that they had two more sequels. It, no one's no one's really mentioning those, but I'm like, this thing has to be better than those sequels, or did two? everyone it, forget? I think it was called like, The Crow Salvation, I think. City of Angels was the second one, I think. Oh my was God, it? Dude. I know Salvation yeah. is one of them. I don't know what... The Crow... Watch, this is fucking terrible. We even set this up at all. City of Angels and Salvation... Yeah. City of Angels was 96, and then Salvation was 2000. But who played, who played The Crow? Yeah, let me find that out. Uh... Vincent Perez. Sign me <laughs> oh, up. Vincent Perez was the crow in the Crow City of oh, Angels, Vincent the second Perez. one. Oh, yeah. So, and it's and not then so obviously, much that it's going to be better than the original. I don't mind. It's also better than the sequels, right? We'll say that at least. I don't. I mean, everybody's going to. People are different. Like I hold the original up on a fucking plateau. Oh my god! Where nothing's going to touch it. We're we're even wrong about the Edward Furlong one. But here's it, here's a good comparison. You know we're complaining about the look? Yeah. Like, yeah, we don't like the look. We don't like the look at him. Who the fuck liked the look of Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker when you first saw it? Nobody. Yeah. Everybody fucking hated it. And I don't care, my own opinion, that is the best Joker I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. The way Until he, he says... The Joker was the best. You know what was horrible about uh, Joker is the way he says Murray. Like, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> But you get what I'm saying? Like, no one liked yeah. when you saw the images and the stills, and you even saw the trailer. You're like, oh, yeah, you were kind of like, oh, shit. shit. Yeah. 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 This is garbage. I remember people and I saw being the like, movie and holy fuck, this is. Yeah, see, people excellent. were super concerned about it. <laughs> They're like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, in that year, I saw that first, and it was by far my movie of the year. Until I saw another film that is still the best movie I've seen in like five years. It took a movie that good to dethrone Joker. Which is Parasite for me. Parasite is the best movie I've seen in five years. And like not only that, I think that uh Lady Gaga as Harley. Um, I think honestly they did that because I think it's going to move into the musical, right? Yeah, yeah it's like gonna a... be a musical, which I'm not too fucking fond of, but, but... You give it a shot. What I think it might be 
I don't know. Getting artsy again, man. I, I don't know. I think it's probably going to be something about uh, that. That music probably plays into something about a trip down insanity or something, you know? Because I mean, like, if she is going to be like his psychiatrist and all that stuff, and she's going nuts with him, what better way to portray that than a musical? Because it'll drive you crazy too, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> snozberries taste like snozberries. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'll watch it. I mean, no matter what, because I did enjoy that first Joker movie. I guess, yeah, I'm not really fond of musicals either, but I don't know. They got me on that first one, so they at least have my trust going into it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I like West Side Story. Oh yeah. Oh, that's her right there. Yeah, they, very minimal with the makeup, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll still check it out. I think it's worth it. I mean, like I said, I, I had no expectation for the first one, and it fucking blew me away, so... I don't know if I'll see it in the theater. <laughs> that's the thing now. Like, do you want to see anything in the theater? I think that's like... I'm actually... Really. I'm going to go see uh, Godzilla vs. Kong with my uh, godchildren. So, I mean... Like, those type of movies, you probably should see it in the theater. Yeah, yeah, and I'm seeing it in 4D. So, I mean... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna how like much that, how much does that ticket cost? Is that like seventy five dollars? Like no, for, we got a we got a family four pack for I think it was like sixty bucks. God damn it, cheese! No, I'm <laughs> fuck it, god damn it! I actually know <laughs> cheese cheese ain't going. Oh, but we can I thought he's, at... no, I thought he's the one that got you the tickets because doesn't he work at a movie theater? Oh, that son of a bitch! I don't know what <laughs> he just disappeared. I, I don't know what the hell, cheese. If you're watching this, you can kiss my whole ass. <laughs> I still All gotta right. see Doom one. Yeah, I haven't watched any of the new Dune. I gotta watch the Dune one. That's uh, yeah. I don't know. Like I was never into the original. I'm like, yeah, this is not for me. Like, so I wasn't too pumped to see the new one. But the reboot is it? It's a reboot, right? I, I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I never saw yeah. the original. But I all I hear is that like, the it's, original it's generation. The Empire Strikes Back. So I don't know. Yeah, I knew I was gonna get to watching them at some point. I just didn't know when. But I'll watch them for sure. I guess yeah, anything, I I'm still behind on Ricky Stanicki, which I saw the trailer yeah, I still of. Watch Ricky God damn it, you guys. <laughs> Show hands in the chat. How many of you I'm, guys have seen Ricky Stanicki? Because if you guys have not seen it, I'm insanely disappointed. <laughs> Comedies in are I'm, definitely not my thing. Like, I, I will watch it. it. Yeah, I'll watch it after the show. <laughs> yeah, I gotta yeah. finish this film watching now. Bitch. Yeah, I think that's what, yeah, what I'm probably gonna light up next is watching that. Uh, oh. I guess some other, like, random, like, out of nowhere movie tv news i know the bear which i've been watching is shooting now for season three it got renewed for season four and then i had heard i guess shoot the guy who played shooter mcgavin <laughs> in happy gilmore he's so they're, gonna make, happy happy gilmore too. they're making a second one why because they have <laughs> run out of ideas they yeah, but have like, but, 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 on a side note, that one. black spider says he loves sci-fi and good news the new alien looks very fucking good. Oh, shit. Because you have it's being made by the person who remade Evil Dead in 2013, which I think is the best Evil Dead. Wait, there's a new alien? Popular. Yeah, Romulus. Yeah, yeah, he's doing Alien Romulus, and it looks fucking decent. Oh, shit. I didn't get the image for that one. I was going to talk about that one, too. It looks I got decent. You. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, I did not on. like Prometheus. People like Prometheus. I didn't. Prometheus was okay. Like, it's I didn't like it. I didn't like one. it. It was too fucking boring. I didn't like it. <laughs> too fucking boring. It was a long movie, though, wasn't it? Though it was like yeah, it was too, just too much. I mean, that's like, what, yeah. Sci-fi of... movies to me are either hit or miss. There is no in between. Like, there's not like that eh, was okay. Either it blows or it's excellent. Yeah, there is no in between. Like Arrival <laughs> is excellent. Like that's a yeah, home run. That one's yeah. That one's one of the better. But then off the other shit idea. like um oh what did I see that was fucking terrible um. <laughs> Oh, what was it? The one with uh, Sandra Bullock. Oh, oh, uh, oh Miss Congeniality. Gravity. Oh, Gravity. shit. Never mind. Right? Gravity. Gravity. I erased that from my memory. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I thought you saw but it. This, the about... alien one looks legit. It looks legit. Yeah. So. There's actual aliens in it. Like, <laughs> Yeah, a lot of face huggers, like, jumping all over the place and just suctioning onto people's faces. Like, an all-out attack. Oh, yeah. Shit, look at that thing. That's, that's not from the film, is it? No, I don't think so, is it? Yeah, no. that's the official picture for the official trailer. Did it fuck a predator or something? Holy shit, it looks insane. God oh, damn. Wow. Looks like hell? Venom. Yeah. 
Yeah, it looks or, like fucking uh, venom. With this, uh, what are those things with the swirls on them from the the Kate's run? That's what they look like. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> foundation on Apple is good. What's Foundation? I'm assuming a sci-fi show. Is that oh, yeah. the Godzilla one? Foundation? I, I don't know what I that... thought it was. Yeah, I know they had like a, a Godzilla show on on Apple. Oh that's uh no that's not Foundation. That's um oh something with a oh, Monarch. Monarch. Monarch, yeah, that's the one I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, yeah. That's like the island of all like the huge creatures or whatever. Uh... I didn't watch that either. Fuck. Yeah. I don't Damn, I'm it. super behind. You know what yeah, it is? Because I don't have Apple. I don't have Apple, so maybe that's why I'm missing out on all that shit. But I'm also super like not like excited to watch most things because I'm always getting disappointed. This <laughs> is like, oh god. You like, really? <laughs> <laughs> no. like, when I see something good, like you know, they're filming Bear three and four together. It's spooky. They're just going, yeah, yeah. They should just end it after back four. Back, like Lord of the Rings. They're going crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings about cooking. I, I speaking of Lord of the Rings, I, I found something it was like an old movie poster of Lord of the Rings. I think. Hold on, let me find it. Yeah, I, I think they just they should just end it after four. Like, there's no need to keep it going I mean, if they don't. If need you want to just like get to the point where you kind of like think of offing yourself, they can keep going with it. I mean, it's <laughs> the most depressing show of all time. <laughs> it's just the most depressing ending the last season. Like, Jesus Christ. They leave it on such a bad note. Like, why? Why you leave it like this? Oh, there it is. Great movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Video games forever. <laughs> uh, this is what we're doing. Like, so why, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Why am I here? <laughs> because Maddie wants us to put all these pictures in there. <laughs> um, what else did they? What else did I see they're making? They're making another Strangers. That's a hard. Thing. Yeah, is that the one where they put the shit in the kid's face? No, no that's the... that was uh, the visit. I think that's still the best <laughs> scene ever known. You know what's funny? I've asked this question like ten times. Every movie is that the movie where they put the diaper in the kid's face? Uh, yeah, I, I need to rewatch that movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can we can we get a clip of that in the madhouse? Just, yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm not. How are we gonna it. when the when the old man puts the shit in the kid's face? We can't show. That. <laughs> we can't show that. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we can show the dog scene from When Evil Lurks. I mean, that's not bad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we can we'll show out something. Uh, that's, I'm not going to lie. I will say this, though. Bit. I do want to see the new Quiet Place. That actually looks really good. Oh, that's the third one, right? Coming out? Yeah, this is like the, the origin. This is when you see them land. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they've kind of only hinted they're just at it. There. In every one we've seen, they're just there. Like, yeah, the world's already ended at that point. In both and we those. get um the dude from Stranger Things is in it. Um, what can I say? Spoiler alert. Um, the dude who plays Metallica. The oh. dude who plays Metallica. Oh, yeah. in you mean uh Johnny Storm? Johnny Storm. That's yeah, who he's, he's gonna, gonna be. Johnny Storm. Oh, they they did they officially release the cast for Fantastic Four yet or no? Yeah. What was that like God. a week or two ago? How is it good or is it bad? I actually think it's all right. A lot of people were hating on it because of uh, Pedro Pascal in it. Because I everything. personally, I, think, I think it's, it's actually safe, if anything, to have him uh, in there. I think it's fantastic. Oh god! Oh, god. <laughs> but um, but... <laughs> I gotta throw the dad jokes in there. You know what? Holy shit! Eat shit. So it'd be better if your camera was on because I can't tell if you were serious or like joking for like a split <laughs> second. <laughs> Is it? Do you think it was better than doing a uh, John Krasinski as him or no? Um, I don't know. I'm not even against the Krasinski version either. Like uh, when not. I saw that in the that was a Doctor Strange. Yeah, the uh, highlight of that shit film. Yes. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's a good cameo. But like, I mean, was I like, oh, they have to bring him back? Not really. <laughs> no. But I'm not gonna hate on Pedro Pascal. I mean, Jesus Christ, the guy's killing it and everything he's in. Yeah. yeah. And then they got the guy from the uh, Richie from the Bear to be the, the thing. So. Th- oh really? The cousin? Yeah. Hey, cuz, cousin? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Hmm. Uh, I just went back to La Bamba. I was like Richie. I was, <laughs> I was, I was thinking about Bob for a second. <laughs> what? Havetica, were you inspired to draw by his by his uh, his cousin? Was that his cousin? Who was an artist? He was drawing <laughs> cartoons. You know, in La Bamba. Oh, oh yeah. shit! I forgot about that. <laughs> that was his job. They threw oh. all the shit outside. You can't draw. 
dude i have so i had a i had an aunt that was like a compulsive liar like according to her she's been in vietnam world war ii and she's met the president all no matter what <laughs> so uh yeah she used to sit there like i actually knew bob back in the day he was a mean son of a bitch bob, you shoot i was trying to figure out the fuck his name was yeah he used like, to like i used to be son of a bitch he used to shoot the balls off of pigs i remember my grandpa coming in like shut the fuck up get out of my house fucking liar <laughs> <laughs> it's like instant get out of my house Bob, Jesus Christ. Wow. Was like good Richie movie, what the fuck was his name Bob, Bob. <laughs> yeah that's I was, he used to shoot the balls off of pigs you're full of shit get out of my house <laughs> God, what I, the last good music movie they made like a, a movie just dealing with music it's so long I don't know I was Eight I know miles? they I don't know I just saw that they did a Bob Marley like Oh yeah! Biopic. Oh wow! Good call. Good call. But I don't know if it's good or not. <laughs> I, just, I know it just came out, so. Well, yeah, they did an Elvis fucking catastrophe a couple years ago. Yeah, I don't even remember that. Jesus that was Christ. fucking trash, dude. <laughs> that is for the best. <laughs> Sorry, King. <laughs> King, yeah, um, there's, there's some decent stuff coming out movie wise. I mean, you know. Yeah, it's not everything's matter. gonna be good, but there's a couple things to look forward to, like Twisters. How do you make a sequel to that? Oh, there's <laughs> fucking two of them now, man. Yeah. That was the first it. one. You just yeah. add an S and then put another one in there. <laughs> Wait, how did we go so long and not talk about the big trailer that came out this week? What the fuck? Beetlejuice? Oh my god! <laughs> like yeah. What the fuck? That just came out. Uh, was it today or yesterday? Like, yeah, I think like yesterday. Week, right? It looked insane, dude. I got so many like. Memories, I'm like, holy shit, how much do I love the original? It's so good. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, the fact that they got most of the obviously everybody back for it too. And they got, uh, what's her name? That's Wednesday Adams. Uh, oh, uh, Jen Ortega. Yeah, like, I think she was an obvious person to put in that movie. Yeah. So I think they obviously did that to get like some of like, the newer people. So she's, I'm assuming she's Delia's daughter. I'm assuming that would be my guess too, right? Like, that's. Well, it makes the most sense to like kind of have time. And if you see the trailer at a funeral, I'm assuming it's for the two people from the original because I know Gina Davis wanted no part of this film. Oh yeah, that's right. So Wait, they would have another in, funeral. Uh, Wait, Alec they would have like their funeral or whatever. Wait, they already were dead though, right? It's like what, they just. Oh like, yeah, you're right. You're right. So who would it be? They're at a funeral in the beginning. Probably the other cast members aren't. I was thinking maybe the dad since. Oh, dude! Like... Imagine it's Otho. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, you were the fucking <laughs> worst. <laughs> if it's Otho, I'll fucking lose my shit. This fucking haircut it's in that dude. Otho's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the guy with the weird ass flap top. Yeah, yeah. Otho's the best. He's he like, gets, I know how to get the, the dead out. Yeah, he gets the book. <laughs> the oh. guy to the, what is it? I forgot that book. It's oh, amazing. shit. That's right. Yeah. Planet of the Apes, too. Planet of the Apes like good, too. Yeah. I but I'm assuming, like that series, too. All right. So, spoiler alert. I'm assuming that's Caesar's son, because Caesar's dead. So, yeah. got to be Caesar's kid. Yeah. It's like the next, yeah. Yeah. The next, by the cool next trilogy or whatever will be his. But I think at that point they're probably going to touch more on like where the original series was, right? Like where the more advanced, right, civilization probably at that point. Well, is this this is going to be a continuation of the original? So I'm assuming the apes the apes have kind of taken over. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm oh, assuming. Yeah. Okay. It's already yeah. established, yeah. But I'm wondering like how advanced they'll make them for this run, basically. Yeah. Because at each movie they seem to get him like more and more, I guess, advanced in their society. So. Yeah, once they like get to like human level, right? Like they're, they're building shit and all that too. Yeah, yeah. Like cities and all that. That'll be cool. You probably already outsmart my ass. <laughs> I did like the first two. The last one I didn't like too much out of that trilogy, Planet of the Apes. Yeah, I think overall though they're, they're so, like it's a solid watch though. If you oh ever, yeah, like, I got I'm the kill. Shit. I'll watch all three. Yeah. Yeah. Caesar. I think the funniest shit. All right, this is like a random story from that. The first one I saw with my own dad in uh in the theaters and the, back in the Bay Area, and I'm laughing because like uh we we're walking out of the movie, and we see like um this one guy like hiding on a stairwell, but he's like ducked down, and we're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like this is as the movie's like ending, so we're like all walking out through the doors. And then sure enough, like as we round the corner, like we see like a little like group of like these like preteen girls rounding the same corner also. I guess they were going back in the movie theater because they were, were watching something else. 
and it turns out the guy jumps out and he goes, I'm Caesar. And he starts acting like a monkey and like <laughs> rolling on the floor towards <laughs> him. He's like, he does like a front roll and starts acting like a chimp. And like they all oh. start screaming. And then one of them goes, Dad. And I was like laughing so hard. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> this he straight up act like a fucking monkey coming out of the Planet of the Apes to scare his daughter I'm and her friends. Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, it it is Caesar. he like fucking he rolled like he did like a legit he like a combat roll, roll. and he's like on his roll. knuckles and shit it was the craziest funniest thing i've ever seen coming out of what a movie theater <laughs> i don't know man it's california that's, that's great like, a parenting it was like the third weirdest thing i had seen that day <laughs> the third weirdest thing i saw that day <laughs> Oh man, like, <laughs> dude, over here, I just went to, like, I think it was like a week or so ago. I went to go get some gas in the car, and I was like, damn, what the f is that smell, man? Dude, fucking right there by the gas pump looked like uh, it wasn't a dog that made that pile. Let's say that much. And there was a. Oh, <laughs> come on, yeah. dude. Yeah, dude, that's California. Dude. <laughs> California, you want to come to fucking this, the New York City and see what it's like? Oh, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bing bong. <laughs> bing bong for, for real. <laughs> Spider cuz. To fuck your life. Bing bong. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't have anything else to talk about. We actually hit everything. Like games, movies, TV, things we were looking forward to. I don't know if you guys have anything you guys want to promote or add. Uh, we're already like at an hour seventeen. Like I don't want to like just drag it on. For yeah, the sake of dragging it on. <laughs> well, tomorrow I know I know you guys have been seeing that scrolling around in the chat. Make sure you guys are checking out StrangerCon tomorrow. Uh, make sure you, seriously oh, yeah. go by tomorrow, and uh, they are going to have that free comic that you guys could get from checking it out. Uh, it's an exclusive, an Akira homage. I mean, I would jump on it. I mean, if you guys don't know what Akira is, you guys have been sleeping under a mattress, or uh, you guys just I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but check it out. Do it. Yeah, uh, the auction comes back Monday, right? We're for sure about yeah. that one. For sure. Hell yeah. Uh, Monday, Wednesday's Friday uh, auctions are for sure. I think Wednesdays or Fridays, right? We're still trying to figure out hosting or we got it almost. Uh, Yeah, we just got to make sure that uh, we got to check with our panelists to see what they are up for doing. But besides that. Hell yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, that's that's all I got to add to this one. <laughs> You've been oh my God. That I've been insane. waiting the whole fucking show to play that. <laughs> now that everybody's leaving. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks everyone for hanging out with us. Like, hopefully, we, uh, I mean, ideally, I wouldn't be doing these shows like every other week or anything. I think this is kind of like supposed to be like one offs here and there. But I enjoy talking about different shit with you guys, especially and then even the chat participating like on some stuff I haven't seen yet. So, yeah, this is this is cool for me because I can watch more movies and tv shows so yeah all right let me just end the shit and we'll see you guys on monday enjoy the weekend Buy some comic books yeah 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 yeah, yeah. all right later guys <laughs> why taylor swift keeps coming up in controversy she's a nice girl i would patty her cake
Spooky died. <laughs> what the fuck? There he is. Yep. 